What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. Huh? I wanna get, yeah. Excuse me. Did you take my charger? Yeah, I why, it, why would you take my charger? Because we got off the flight. Yeah, but my charger, that's I'm, my charger. Why I'm would you steal it? Back. But why would you take it, though, without permission? Because nobody was on the flight, bro. Yeah, but that's my charger. And you're getting it back. Okay, no can I have it back? Give me one yeah, second. Yeah, but don't steal things. You can't take things without asking. When nobody is on the flight, it's... Oh, so you just take things? Like, we're not coming back? Stupid. Why don't you take people's luggage, then? No, you can't take things without asking. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be famous. You're going to be on TikTok. I don't know who you are, but I don't know why you're getting involved. Ed, I don't want to get hits on this plane. All right, just give me my charger bag. We'll call it even, all right? <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, my God. Yeah, look at this guy smiling. Ed, please. Ed, please. No, you're ridiculous. You stole something without asking. Who stole it? She stole it. You can't take things without asking. Is it stealing? Yes, that is stealing. Absolutely. Yeah. Give me the charger bag. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, give me, Give me the charger, You're honey. giving it back because I caught you, and everybody else saw you. That's why. Ooh. Everybody else said you took it. What, you can't afford a charger? There's an epidemic. This guy was trying to step up and be a white knight. This guy was like, hey, sir, these hands are rated E for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch your chucky cheekage. Because I will come with the heat. This guy looked like he was on demon time. I'm going to keep it a buck. Stole the charger? Do not stay. Hey, moral of the story, don't steal chargers. Dude, I'm going I'm to pay for this. I'm not paying for this. This is your car. Where is it? What happened? Back. So how you get the tape on it? <gasps> I tried. Baby, this is gonna cost me like two thousand dollars. This is I'm gonna I'm have to get this whole thing. Bro, chat. What would you do if your girl came back and she had wrecked your car? I would be livid. Then the whole bumper got to get replaced. Then the light. Then all that tape. <laughs> I might have to get a new trunk. What you mean? I don't. You think I'm paying for this? Well, yes. This is your car. I wasn't driving when you got into an accident. No, I didn't get into an accident. Okay, I understand that it wasn't your fault, but I'm not paying for this. You're paying for no, it, I'm not. so I'm run stupid. the money. No, I'm not Listen, I don't want to be this aggressive with you right now because yeah, you are you really. No, no, no. You need to realize what what you just did with my car. I'm not paying to get my car fixed. I, you you will never drive my car ever again. Okay, I hope you it's ever. Up anyway. You don't have a car. <gasps> The car's messed up anyway. You messed it up, dude. You're threatening me? Fuck, you care about no Nissan Altima? You know, you know how much Uber's cost? <laughs> She's cooking this man. More than you have put hey, Nissans are nice cars. Use me you know what? to get money you're out of using me. You? Like a broke ass. Using you? Yes, like you're trying to fucking relate me into thinking that I have to pay for it. No. That's it's always the shame, insult, and the guilt, and the need to be right, right? She's clearly in the wrong. She could just own up and take accountability. But instead, she's going to shame him and call him broke. Unreal, bruv. That's why this... She's a runner, she's a track She's for the streets. Let her go back to the streets, man, where she was happy. Driving your car wrecks your car and then calls you broke. It says that you got a busted car. Are Yo, you what's the oldest kidding me? The youngest you would date. I am 24. The youngest, probably 20. The oldest I would date, probably 24. What if she was 25 and had $5 million? I don't care about how much money they have. So 25, $5 million, your dream girl, you're not doing it? No, money's not a factor in who my dream girl is. What if she's 40? All right, that's way too old. That's it's too far off. One thing women don't seem to understand. See, that's the thing. Women, we don't vet y'all the same way you vet us. You look for money. You look for status. You look for clout. You look for success. What we look for is for a genuine connection. Fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids, quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, natural, and nurturing. That's what we really want. We want you to be our peace, keep our stomachs full, and our nuts empty. It's really that simple, gents. It's really not hard. What is this Karen doing? What is she doing? Is she the street police? Does she work for the city? Catch up to him. Run, honey. Run. Run. <laughs> Can you imagine? This is your existence right here. Getting in the way of people. Skateboard. This dude's doing nothing. He's just skating. Okay, so a little context. Apparently this woman thinks she was trying to protect her city and stop- Protect the city. What is she, freaking Batman? Where is she? <laughs> what, what, is, what is going on? She's trying to get guys to simp or look? My man's locked in. 
He's like, nah, we're ending the epidemic over here, fellas. If we stop giving them attention, they'll stop no, doing this stuff. I don't think it's right when men always say to women, get back in the kitchen. That's where you belong. That, that's just, that's not cool at all. Yeah, I agree. I mean, how are they going to clean the rest of the house if they're always in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean. <laughs> get my man a chef hat. He's cooking. His shirt says, that's just great. <laughs> With a cheese grater? Successful career. I think if you and me go that far, you I'm might not have to work now. forever. <laughs> he said, well, I think if you and me go really far, you're going to have to work forever. <laughs> and on a real note, Michael, is that how you feel about your finances? <laughs> I mean, you never know where the world's gonna take you. It's all just a game of cards. What kind of answer is that? It's like, you gotta be confident about it. Like, yes, it's baby. It's giving that you're broke, though. It's the vocal fry for me. I'm gonna take care of you. I got this. I really like that sass you got. <laughs> the way she purses her lips that's what i'm saying bro like you got the lip injections I i'm seeing all the insecurity i need right now ain't nobody trying to take care of you i'm not trying to be your hero baby, I can be your hero, baby. no you gotta play 50 50 drizzle drizzle treats me like a god that's right she pretends like i don't exist and only talks to me when she wants something <laughs> uh that's funny <laughs> marriage in the west and they won that's so good <laughs> It's a shat, bro. Get it good, honey. Stupid. It's a shadow, bro. Poor little baby. Put your back into it. Remember, guys, women can do. It's not enough elbow grease. <laughs> Need a little bit more elbow grease in there, honey. <laughs> right there, he looked like a lame man. Probably do it. Hey, what's your name? Me? Yeah. Ash. Hmm. What grade you in? Do you want me to sit down? Yeah. What grade you in? I'm a freshman. Really? Yeah. That's real nice. That's real nice. You look good. Well, you came up here? Yeah. Can yeah. I get your number? I don't even know your name. It's Kaya. What are you? A sophomore. You dressed on like this? What you trying to say? <laughs> I expect more. I, what? Hold on. Hold on. What you mean? I barely had classes today. I ain't trying to impress nobody. You sure as hell ain't impressing me. Oh, I ain't trying to, baby. You got on a Nike Tech with some Crocs. Let's right. let's keep it a buck. Yeah, and I ain't impressing nobody because people like you want to run the school. What? Baby, who do you think you are? I came over here to try to win $100, zero out of the Do not try it. Do her, do her. Do her. Excuse me. Don't, don't be with you. <laughs> Please get your microphone. He nexted I, I both of them. He <laughs> sensed a disturbance in the force and the... He could tell that y'all were on some... Some dumb stuff, bruv. That's why he nexted you. Four. I mean, none of my children's fathers, I wasn't with them on, besides this one and my last one. Wait, so you're a single mom of four? Single mom. That's a whole lot of mistakes, cuzzo. Father in your life? No. So you a think father you have daddy or, issues? I don't think. Hey, Google, show me the relationship with her father. <laughs> that you have daddy issues. Mm -hmm. I know that you have daddy issues. Yeah, trust me, I know. Yeah. I have a daughter. The way my daughter views me, she's in awe. She views me as everything is because I treat my daughter as such. So any man that encounters my daughter, she's going to be measuring that man up to me. You don't even meet the things that my daddy is doing for me. Mm -hmm. So why should I take you? So I'm saying that I know for a fact that it streams from you not having a good father, because if you had a good father, the men that you choose would be better men and you would respect them and you would talk to them better. Mm -hmm. But I know that you don't have a good father because you speak down to your man currently Some, yeah. my man is right by her behavior no fugazi straight cooking would love to be on this man's podcast if you're seeing this I'd love to be on your podcast fugazi becoming way more sassy, sassy. how and way more like they how because girls are fighting for like equality you like, said you're independent I think they're the prize. we like, are Nobody's we, yeah, we are the prize. You. you are. Nobody's. You, you are. I'm not gonna lie. All I heard was, "I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke." It'd be the same girl saying, "I don't need a man. I don't need shit, man. I'm an independent mommy. Like, what do I need a man for? Okay, move in alignment with that. Why do you keep talking?"
right? Now that I'm in my soft guy era, I'm starting to realize you guys actually do need us. We yes, actually are the prize. You guys beg us, when are you, when are you gonna take me serious? Never. How about that? Never. I'm never taking you serious because you're not paying for anything. You're like, you're just broke as shit, And then you want me to take you serious and date you. No. Pick up a bill. Once you pick up a bill, now we can start to talk. Women start complaining, oh, these men don't want commitment. I wonder why, because you're broke. Why would I want to be committed to a broke <laughs> What the fuck? Look at it, some of y'all women are actually super disturbing. How can your whole outfit be from Sheen or Fashion Nova and you're asking me for a Chanel bag? Right? Facts. You should figure out how you can see if you can work at FedEx to get your f***ing money up. This soft... I love it, bro. Lil Goody. Lil Goody on TikTok. This man, he be cooking. I like his content. It's so good. But it's just giving broke. Ladies, if you can't afford being with a guy like me, just say it. What is going on? What is going on? I'm so confused. He's working out, doing this whole shebang. Yeah, this dude is yo woke though. I bet he, I bet he like six, six, two, six, three, two, twenty, two, forty. Man is big moded. Honestly, I wouldn't mind being that big, but I'm gonna keep it above. You know how hard it is to be that big, bro? It's not difficult. I mean, it's not difficult. It's very difficult being big. Being big like that is hard, man. Working out and gaining all that muscle. I don't know about you guys, but I just grew up scrawny, bro. I grew up so scrawny. It would be so tough for me to... Loki, does somebody want some beef jerky? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. It'd be so hard for me to be 220, bro. I'd have to gain 40 pounds of muscle. It'd be so difficult. 10 years of being married to my wife, I finally found her G-spot. Okay. <laughs> it turns out it was uh, in her mother the whole time. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus. 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 Troy? <laughs> Troy. Troy. <laughs> Troy! Troy, stop laughing! Sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. Bad I'm Troy! Like... You're, not, you're not sorry though, Troy, are you? Not Troy! Not even a little bit. Troy. <laughs> it is kind of funny though. Oh, Troy is most certainly not sorry. Pat laughed. I'm not going cap. That is kind of funny. Me personally, no. no, but I'm also like 24, so I'm okay. pretty young. Okay. Yeah. Not right now. We're, right young. Now. We're young. We're young. We're, young. We're too young for that. Uh, yes. No. 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 Honestly, probably not seriously. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Single moms are recreational use only. Single mom. Recreational use only. Probably not. Hey, it is what it is. Aren't we? At least these guys are keeping it a buck. I applaud them for that. Chat, let me know, would you date a single mom? It's a no-go for me, cuz oh. There ain't no way, man. Girls are always right. Then why always choose the wrong guy? Ah. That's ah. so true. Ah. If girls are better decision makers, then why cannot decide where to eat? Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Girls, if you want flowers, but you did not tell your boyfriends, your boyfriend did not buy, you cannot be sad. Why? Because expectation without communication. It's only disappointment. Ah. Man, man's preaching. Ah. Ah. What can I say, bro? My man's preaching, bro. Let him preach. It's <laughs> so dumb. I kind of like this, though. This is. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> He's gonna dunk on her. <laughs> Chat, can you dunk? That I arguing I can't. with a woman is just like reading the software license agreement. In the end, you just ignore everything and you click I agree. And that's why the numbers show that 50% of women will be single by 2030. Uh oh. Let's see, she's gonna walk over to our man. Oh, oh, yeah, mm, run, buddy, run. Run, 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 run. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. But especially in a setting like that, nah, bro. You can't simp in, simp in a setting like that, nah. At 2 a.m., the husband wakes up and picks it up. A raspy voice says, we have your wife. We want $150,000. We will never see her again. Mate, my wife is here sleeping next to me, but don't hang up. 
we can definitely do business. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the price you're supposed to? <laughs> it's messed up, but it's good. It's good. Is canny? Oh. Oh, he's going to do a whole painting of... Oh, my Lord, have mercy. That's a lot of makeup, bruv. Oh, he made like a whole little beach with waves. I got to admit, it's pretty solid, man. Can you guys paint, chat? You guys artistic like that? Personally, I cannot paint at all. The only thing I can paint is the porcelain toilet. You know what kind of paint we're dealing with. How many reps of that do you so recommend? Yo, for, for his age. He looks much older. Future freak hole or looking for you by Kirk Franklin? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. She really to kiss tried to kiss him and just missed. He was not going to have it. Times out of 10, a man that's up, up. He started with a woman when he was down, down. For sure. And a woman brought him up, up. And then. Why do you say that a woman brought No, I brought me up, up. <laughs> Ain't no. I hate, I hate that. I hate when women are like, if he gets with me, he's going to be a millionaire. No, I brought me up. It's had nothing to do with you. And Cass, Cass knows that. Cass helped me focus on a lot of the things I needed to focus on. But at the end of the day, I built all this. Uh, I built this mother oh. I paid my money oh. by myself. Oh. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I built this shit. Right, brick, brick. No woman again. brought me up. up. No woman paid, paid. I got them call calls to get the goddamn lease lease and to create the business business and went to go get the S-Corp escort. Okay, so no woman brought me up. up. <laughs> women misconstrue the fact that they're putting on and they were just in the building. I was just focused on the fact that most women bring their man up. They put them on a the game. They financially support them while they... Bullshit! Most women don't. Netflix bill. What planet is you living on? See, now I understand why you talk about men the way you talk about men. You choose to bait us. You like toy, pet little nigga. Hey, man, listen. I'm a protector. I'm a provider. And that's what my daddy did. Now, if you purposely choose weak ass men, don't come over here to us real ass men reflecting your goddamn trauma. You chose that nigga. You chose the fuck. It was a nigga. Tyrone that would have told your ass to the fuck be quiet. And you ain't want to give him no put. See, that's what it is. These women love these weak can run over and then want to call them is when they get ran out. See, that's how you know a nigga alpha. See, I can mute your mic and make you be quiet. They can't hear you. That's what Bob said. Your mother nigga, that's your ass. Hey, push up a button. Look. That's one of the biggest smackdown. <laughs> this dude's channel's hilarious. I've seen this woman. The way he can, like, control that sound panel and like, that, that is an art in itself. The soundboard for me is hard enough. Oh, my man is cooked. Chad, have you ever gotten one of these messages right here? You know it's over when you get one of those. And here's the best thing you can do. You get one of those, just text back K. <laughs> or, or bet. <laughs> and a man. Yeah. But you know guys can't change that. It's like a personal problem. A personal problem? Yeah. Well, let's see how you look without makeup. We're going to judge you based on unnatural beauty. No. But you can change that. What did I just yeah, give me my face to go out tonight? Why? You trying to change your appearance? No, everyone wears makeup. So let me judge you based on something you can change. Let me judge you. I've seen way too many videos like he got her. He got her with that one. I like this guy. This, this guy is doing the Lord's work. We appreciate this kid, man. Uh, personally, I would not be out on these streets with a camera. You never know what can happen, man. You never know what can What's happen. What's your name? Don't read a goddamn book, baby. What's your name? Don't read a book, boo. You can never handle me. Go on to them white girls. Can y'all hear her better? This one girl with a master's degree, you won't ever handle. What's your name? What's your name with your bad internet? My What's your name? name? Keisha, baby. And this internet ain't bad because, baby, I probably make more money than you. I clever make more money nah, than you. No, nah, you don't. No, nah, you don't. Prove it. Prove it. We make more Prove money it. than you and bet on that. Prove it. Not children through college. So prove it. My name is not Keisha. And prove I'm it. I'm a black girl. Come on, camera, camera and prove it. Hair. This is what I don't get. Like these women that are hyper masculine, they think that men need to come out and and like handle them. You can't handle me. Why would I want to handle anything? Why do I want to handle you? This sounds, that's, uh, I never would want to do that. Back to your wife. Yeah. Oh, all sorts of ways. I basically give her whatever the hell she wants. I adore her. But here's the thing. The reason that I do this is because if I say, this is what ultimately is going to happen, that's the last word in it. And I don't even want to have the conversation. We don't. Now she may really want to, and I can tell sometimes that she really does, but I don't fucking care. And that's the bottom line. I'm going to add that to the soundboard. I just didn't have time today. Sorry. 
because it's my decision ultimately. So you don't care about how she feels? I don't know. I didn't say I didn't care how she feels. I just don't care to have her question my authority autonomy over the marriage. Do was that. there an initial conversation prior to that or is it just like we're doing this, don't ask Depends me Depends on it. the context. I yeah. would say Sometimes. more for like bigger decisions in life, not necessarily like little things. Even larger decisions if ultimately, let's say I went home and I said we're moving to Nevada in three weeks. Get your bags packed and I'm not going to have a f***ing, I don't want to hear a word about it. Oh. You're doing it and that's the way it's going. And you think that's respectful? W. I think that ultimately it's my choice. Okay, and but how she shows me respectful? respect. Yeah, that's how she shows me respect. respect. There's a time and place. That's why men want respect, women want love. And the thing is, if you trust your man, you're going to trust him to make a decision and he's thought about it. He's not just making this decision all willy-nilly. More than likely, he's thought about it and that's why you're going to move or, or do something like that. But Mm -hmm. If I do 10 jumping jacks, can I get your number? Oh my god. Um, wow. Um, <laughs> uh, He's like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> my man's going through it. I'm okay, thank you. You're okay? Why? What's the problem? Uh, I'm at work. Movies I'm at are work. spilling over. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> 10 jumping jacks? Bro 10 jump. I would have said, you know what? Go for it. Let's, let's, let's hear it. Let's see it. <laughs> and then would have next to her and be like, sorry, I'm getting called to the back. Um, oh, my Lord, have mercy, bruv. My Lord, have mercy. Let's jump into the subreddit real quick, see what you men have. And this is why men don't want to marry anymore. Women I like this. This is from uh, Lone Wolf. 185 members in the subreddit. Thank you. What is this one about? Absolutely went into marriage knowing I was going to become a divorcee. There was no question in my mind. I knew at some point we would get divorced. The only question mark was when. I thought, you know, when I'm 40, maybe I'd get that title. Turns out... What happened to the good old days when a woman would just stay down for you? She'd be your woman till the end. And she wouldn't be thinking about when I'm going to divorce this man. She'd actually be thinking about staying with you. Our grandpas had it easy, didn't they, boys? It's just tough these days. That was just the three. Uh, in the end, that's all we kind of uh, reached our limit with. But, you know, still got the title in the end. And obviously, I don't want to get married ever again. However, double divorcee is a term that I'm living for. Okay, so it's all about labels. You actually don't care about the sacrament. You don't actually... I mean, facts. Like, most of these women, they just want to be a... They want to be a wife... Or they want to have the they want to be married, they don't want to be a wife. The big difference, right? You can go get a piece of paper that says you're married, but being a wife means that you have duty to your husband. A lot of a lot of women, the only duty they're doing is in the bathroom. <laughs> I have no duty to their man. It's quite sad, really. Because marriage has such a, a negative connotation right now in today's dating market where most women can't even get a situation ship. And the best thing most men can get is a buck fuddy. Or friends with benefits. It's absolutely wild, man. It's truly sad. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? He's looking at me like, boy, you better feed me. <laughs> My man's mad at me. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.